Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 66. First thing I wanted to do today is thank everyone who has been working with me on my experiment on my Amazon Associates idea, where if you go through one of my two websites and you purchase something from Amazon, there's no additional cost, uh, I get a small commission. And then what I plan on doing is taking that small commission and buying something from Amazon because I get it in the form of a credit and uh, something to review on these shows. And then I got to thinking um, after the last show about this concept is since the idea is um, funding the purchase of this amateur and scanner radio equipment from funds received from my viewers that what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that back and once I've done my review I'm going to have a little contest and give away to the viewers whatever that article was. So I think that's only fair. Now like I say, I'm, I'm really appreciative of those who have responded, who have purchased something. I can't thank you directly because Amazon does not give me the information about the buyer themselves. The only information they give me is what the article was that was purchased. So I can't thank you directly, but I do want to thank you in general. And you know who you are. So with that said, I'm going to go on with uh, today's show, and today's show is a brand new radio that's coming out. It's not out yet. It was presented at the um, uh, Japanese Amateur Radio uh, Organization in, um, in Japan, of course, that was just, just took place this past weekend, and it's the new ICOM. IC7100. Like I say, it's a brand new radio. They introduced it. It's not available yet. Not all the details out are out, but they do have a brochure, a kind of a, um, it's not a final brochure. So you know, there's, there might be some differences in the final radio itself. So I want to go over that today, and I want to show you the brochure and tell you a little bit about it. So here we go. Okay, here is the uh, brochure on the new ICOM IC7100. Again, uh, this radio is, is not released for sale yet. And this brochure, as you can see up here at the top, is pre-release information. It's marked pre-released. So you have to kind of treat everything on this brochure with a grain of salt as it may not change or it may change but probably won't change much um, here's some of the overall features uh, one of the major features with this particular radio is it does have a uh, touchscreen interface um, I, I really can't get too excited about that but it hopefully will make interfacing with the radio much easier. Now, I own the ICOM 706, and going through the menus using the buttons on the bottom with my fat fingers is a little bit difficult. Not bad, but just, you know, a little inconvenient. Um, the screen here reminds me of um, some of the uh, existing ICOM radios, the desktops, uh, like the uh, 746. Now, the screen they're showing here is not color, which is surprising. Um, and I'm a real fanatic about having color because it makes it so much easier to visualize things and find things. But we'll see if it ends up being color or not. Um, the other thing is, and I'll scroll down a little bit, is this is a 
actually a slant uh, screen here, or, or not screen, but a slant display here where that if you're setting it on a desk or something, it is presented to you as at an angle. Um, kind of like your, kind of like the 706 when you got the little stand up and you have it on your desk, it raises it up in, up to an angle. This is similar, but this um, is different in that the, uh, for instance, 706, which had a detachable uh, display um, that you could mount on your dash or something like that, it was it was just flat, and uh, you couldn't really just take that and set it on a desk. You had to have something to prop it up to give you that slant angle. Where this has that built in, which means it you can't it appears that you can't attach this to the base um, box itself. It's the way it appears. The um, by doing that, the buttons now are kind of almost not quite, but almost flat as you have this sitting on your desk. That may or may not present a problem if you're not real close to uh, to the screen, and it may or may not present a problem if um, you've got it mounted, you've got it sitting on top of your dash. Now, of course, you can use supposedly the touch screen in place of these buttons. So that's kind of a picture of the way it looks. Um, it says it has a built-in speaker on this control box. It's HF, 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters, all mode. And something that they're bringing to it is it does have a D-Star capability. So that's kind of interesting. And another thing that's kind of uh, new for radios, it has a built-in SD card slot for voice and log storage. Now that's kind of interesting, especially the, if the capacity of, um, of this is quite high, which I expect it is, depending on what card you put on it. That means you could, uh, you could record uh, a complete QSO and to have it stored on here and maybe there's there's probably going to be some way that you can move this to your computer or something so that sounds interesting and um it ha it comes it doesn't come with a mounting base so that's optional okay let's go down here and look at the spec sheet now i'm not really a high tech um spec person so I can I'm just going to present this and you kind of and of course you can if you do a search for this um, uh, PDF which is online you can see this yourself and look at the details for yourself but it gives you um, a couple of ideas of what the touch screens look like and it gives you the coverage the receiver coverage now I'm a little disappointed although it's not unusual, but I'm a little disappointed in that it doesn't have a full wideband uh, receiver, um, meaning that it, it goes uh, full spectrum. But that's not unusual because this is a transceiver for ham use. And so they, they've they expanded it so you do get, you know, more than just the ham beds for receive. So you do get a general coverage receiver, but it doesn't cover like, from uh, 50 kilohertz to 2 gigahertz. So anyway, it does cover uh, 30 kilohertz to uh, 200 megahertz, and then from 400 megahertz to 470. So it covers all all the hand bands. What I'm saying. And it's an all mode, so you got all the modes. It does have 505. Um, memory channels and it does say it has 700 D star repeater channels it's a lot um, has two antenna connectors one for uh, HF and one for VHF most of these specs are very similar to my 706 
And let's see what else. Okay, here's a transmitter power on HF to 50 megahertz. It's um, maximum of 100 watts for single side band, 40 for AM. Um, in two meters, it's 50 watts. And on uh, 440 megahertz, it's 100, excuse me, 100. <laughs> oh gosh, I wish. It's 35 watts. So again, very similar to uh, my 706. I'm not sure my 706 will give me that much power though. Okay, here's your specs on the receiver. Okay, here's the back of the unit. Unfortunately, they don't point out anything, but here's your two antennas connections. That looks like probably a microphone connection. Looking for this mic down here at the bottom. I don't, you can't probably can't see my cursor, but down the bottom looks like uh, could be a mini or a micro USB port. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, what does it say about features? Built-in SD card, dual DSP chips deliver versatile digital processing performance, built-in RTTUI demodulator and decoder. That's they've had that on other radios. I don't have it on my 706. Multifunction meter, SWR graphic controller, da da da. European version have the 70 the 70.5 megahertz coverage. Optional IP control remote control software. Hmm. You probably need that if you want to offload what you well, the thing is since it's on an SD card, if it puts it in the right format, you can just plug that SD card into your computer and read the files, depending on what format they're in. So maybe you don't have to have a direct correction, a connection to the radio. So anyway, that's the, um, that's the new radio. Don't know when it's going to be out. Um, I've heard some rumors about it's going to be fairly expensive maybe a two thousand dollar price range but um, that's the information i've got so far if you have any additional information please leave a comment thanks for watching bye bye